local woman who donated her kidney met the recipient today. Lisa Washington reports the mom was inspired to become a living donor after a tragedy in her own family. Meeting Brian Cox was a moment Laura Gillum had been waiting for for nearly a month. 39-year-old Brian, who is from Aliquippa, is the recipient of Laura's kidney. The surgery was March 7th. First person I called was my girlfriend. She was on the phone crying. I was crying. It was just, we were so happy because we, we, didn't, we didn't think this day would come. Laura decided to become an organ donor after the death of her son, Dean, who drowned after falling in the family's backyard pool in 2015. The toddler's heart, liver, and kidneys were all donated. My son was amazing, and at 23 months old, he saved three people's lives, you know, and, and not many people can say that. And even though he's gone, I try every day to do something to make him proud of me. She's created a nonprofit, become a certified CPR instructor, and now an altruistic living kidney donor, giving her kidney to someone she didn't know. I just can't comprehend why someone wouldn't want to donate their kidney, you know. So hopefully um, getting the message out, more people will want to do it and, and that they'll want to educate themselves to find out just what everything entails. Brian, who's had kidney failure since 2016, says getting Laura's kidney is not only life-changing, she saved his life. Before receiving the kidney, he went to dialysis three days a week. Well, it blew my mind because, you know, some people when they lose a, lose a child like that, they become bitter. She didn't become bitter. She wanted to save lives. When you change someone's whole life just by giving them your kidney. So no more dialysis. He can go wherever he wants to go. The two say they plan to stay in touch. Laura, who adopted a baby girl named Zoe, introduced Brian to her daughter as her newest uncle. For these three, it's a relationship inspired by a loss and a gift they hope will last for years to come. Lisa Washington, KDKA News.